What's cracking, YouTube? Got a ROM review here for you. This is Gummy ROM with KitKat 4.4 for Verizon Galaxy S4. Uh, big shout out to, I can't pronounce his name, it's spelled K E J A R 3 1 over at XDA Developers. I think it's Keyjar or Kjar 31. I want to say thank you and big props to him if we get this out to us. It's an early build. It's not perfect, but it does it does work. Every every device is different, so your experiences may vary. Um, reading through the form, some people have problems, some people don't have any problems. So if you want the latest and greatest, I suggest you check it out because it may work well for your phone. Um, be sure and he's got gaps that he <clears throat> put a link to, so you can download it because. I can't remember why, well, I can't remember the reason why, but you want to use the gaps that he recommended for, for KitKat. And then if you want the Google Launcher, you have to download that separately and sideload it. No big deal. Um, if you want wallet, Google Wallet, you need to sideload that as well. Um, to get it working. And reading through the forms, if you go to the forms and search wallet. I'll try to leave the link in the description, but if you go to the forums and search wallet, you will see um, somebody's got one where all you got to do is download it, sideload it, or install it, and it works. Now, I haven't tried it yet, so forgive me if it does not work. Um, my battery life wasn't as good. Uh, the camera was, uh, it worked sometimes, sometimes it didn't, so... <clears throat> Again, some people have problems with that. You may not have a problem with it. But if you want to check it out, I do recommend this ROM. I highly recommend it. It is very nice. It's very pretty cool. Once you, once you do get the launcher installed, you can do things like on Nexus 5. You can say, okay, Google, set alarm for 6 a.m. Setting alarm. Man, that is just pretty cool to me. I love that. I think that is really cool. And, of course, you go to the left. You have... Google Now, always present, which is cool. Um, if you want to add a page, it only comes with one page. If you want to add a page, you have to hold down an icon and drag it and then add. And then there you go. But once you delete that, then that page is gone. See that? So, anyway, it's different. Um, I'm not sure if I like it, but. I'm just running it because I want KitKat. So if you want KitKat, I suggest you download this. Um, the the uh, IR Blaster for TV, I couldn't get that to work for me. Some people said it did work. Again, your experience may vary. Uh, let's go. Through, let's look at look at the settings here. See what we're working with. <clears throat> Excuse me. There it is, 4.4. And if you double tap on it, or Servo tap on, excuse me. Mine wouldn't work, but if I hold it down again, that comes up. And if you hold it down again, you get that. I don't know what that is. Oh, excuse me. But it's cool. Anyway, let's see. Like I said, it is early build. He's adding things to it. So. Right now, there is you can't add toggles. Uh, I'm sure he will add that eventually. He has got this gummy interface, and you got little things like the clock, make it center, you know, AM, PM, change the color, which is cool. The battery icon, oops, excuse me, the battery icon where you can, um, there's your options for the battery, and then the color. Percentage color and all that, which is cool. Um, brightness control, where it's kind of like Sign Jamal, where you hold down and slide your finger to dim it, which I think that's really cool. Oh, hang on, put it back for the camera. Now, let's see. You can change the custom carrier label. Uh, where is it at? I think it's. Is it on lock screen? Uh, no, yeah, it's 
at the bottom. There it is. Let's get back in there. And then the hardware keys, I don't mess with that. If you want to mess with that, you can. And da, da, da. that's for the lock screen. You can change the colors and so forth. Oops. Anyway, um, that's just a quick look. I will be updating as he updates this ROM. This is from 11.14, so I'm sure he's going to update it pretty soon, in the next couple of weeks or so. So be sure and subscribe and follow because this is really cool. I think he's one of the first guys to get this running besides Sign Jamon 11. And anyway, all right, with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for future videos. And please feel free to comment, share, and like this video. And I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day.